don't pick that life, that life picks you. Welcome to Sit Down News, and before I begin, I'd like to mention our sponsor. Ratchet is a clothing company from the UK, started by a young man with a vision, a dream, and determination. They have various prints and styles for men, women, and children. I'll include a link to their website down below in the description for this video. Maybe about a week after I got straightened out, inducted into the Lucchese family, Big John asked me to meet with him at the cigar lounge. So I met with John and he told me that a Spanish guy who lives on his son's block was selling the kid drugs. He wanted the guy to get smacked and warned to stay away from his son. I had met John's son a few times. They called him Sonny and he was a nice kid. So John asked me if I knew where he lived and he lived on Rensselaer Avenue and I had a friend who lived there. I got in touch with Anthony Guzzo and told him to meet up with me. We drove over to Rensselaer Avenue and went to go see our friend Bobby who lived on that block. This guy Bobby was a nervous wreck when he seen us at his door. I asked him if he knew the Spanish guy that lived on his block and he said yes. I told him to go get the guy and bring him in his yard. Right away he said, what are you going to do to him? I said, Bobby, just go get him and bring him in your yard. A few minutes later he comes walking in with this guy and I go over to him. Do you know Sonny? You're selling him drugs? He went to go say something but I smacked him in the face. Then he starts screaming and Anthony and I grab him. I said to him, the next time I got to come here I'm not going to talk to you anymore. And he's screaming and screaming. We're trying to control him. And in all the commotion, Anthony, the guy, and me almost go right through the neighbor's fence. I told Bobby, get him out of here. Anthony and I left, and we drove back to the cigar lounge to go see Big John. John was on the phone smiling when we got there. He told us his daughter called him to say that some guys came and hit the Spanish guy. This was only 45 minutes since he told me he needed it done. About a week later, John and I was in the car when his phone rang. He looked at it and hesitated before he answered it. After the call, I asked him if everything was okay, and he explained to me that he didn't like to get calls from unknown numbers because he always worried that it would be bad news about his son. Later on that night, I couldn't stop thinking about what he said. My heart broke for him because I was a parent and couldn't imagine having to worry like that. The next time I seen John's son at the cigar lounge, I told him to take a walk with me. First, I told him about his father with the call and that he was worried about getting bad news about him. And then I said to him, look, I'm not here to preach to you. You're the one that has to change. Your friend Ralphie is up your father's ass. That's your father and you're his son. I said, I know that you could stay clean if you put your mind to it. He was such a good kid. He thanked me for taking the time to speak to him. After that day, Sonny started doing good for a while. But then I heard news that he was in Rankers Island for something. A short time later, and I think it was Johnny Cyburns who called me, John's son died. I couldn't believe it. I asked, what happened? He said, I think it was an overdose while he was on Rankers. I remember going to Sonny's wake. It was hard for me to look at Big John. I couldn't imagine the pain he was going through. When I finally went over to him, he looked at me and shook his head. We both understood. It didn't matter who we were. The Lucchese family couldn't prevent this from happening. I think about Sonny every now and then. I wish things would have turned out different for him. And now I just pray that his soul rest in peace. I just posted the latest blog, The History of the Commission. You can find it at sitdownnews.com. And by subscribing, you can read all the future blogs as well as the past ones. I thank everyone who has subscribed. Hope you enjoyed the story. If you would like to subscribe to this channel, you could do so down below. If you would like to subscribe to my other channel, Unlimited Substance Podcast, I'll add a link in the description for this video.